I would describe my lifestyle the most pictastic thing you've ever seen. I've been offered a million dollars to wear another color and I turned it down. Do I think I'm crazy? Just a little bit. Monochromatic is someone who devotes their life to one color, that loves a color and just wants to wear it, own it, live it. I love this. People love it, like they're drawn to me. I, I could just be sitting at a coffee shop and they'll come over and go, gee, you just made me so happy. I just love looking at you. This is Kitten. Her life is 100% pink. My pink obsession started in 1981. Pink is the prettiest color in the world. I don't have anything that's not pink. Everything I have is pink. I have my pink treadmill, my pink guitar, my pink throne, my pink bed. It's all pink. Even my pup is pink. My name is Ella London and welcome to my sunshine world. Ella's yellow life started seven years ago. My obsession with yellow is very obvious. <laughs> this is my year-round tree, no longer Christmas tree because, you know, it's like, it's yellow. I absolutely adore <laughs> my smiley face beach walls. These flowers here, this was my way of having yellow on the wall and creating yellow walls without my husband going crazy at me. Because <laughs> obviously when you're married, you have to compromise a little bit, and my compromise was not having yellow walls and instead having all yellow accessories. But dedication to living the one colour lifestyle takes more than just a few accessories. I'm making pink breakfast this morning with Pinkerbell. Pink food tastes better than regular food. One of the the really nice things about being obsessed with yellow is there is a lot of yellow food and it's all about the coloring. I'm very particular. Bananas! Okay, these have to be my favorite fruit. Yellow on the inside, yellow on the outside. But I've been doing pink food since 1980. I've done lots of pink cooking. I eat yellow food pretty much every day. It's good, it's good, it's cooked. That's definitely done. <laughs> okay, look at that. Now this, my friend, is a pink breakfast. Delicious. This is good. Cheers, darling. But life as a monochromatic could become a lonely place. So Kitten went in search of the rest of the rainbow. I was on Instagram, I was looking all over, and I started finding people that were like me. I found Ella through Instagram. So really excited because I'm going to get to see Kitten today and have a bit of fun with her. And I got her a couple of gifts because she just got her new pup, who I cannot wait to meet. Tinkerbell! Hey, She's right there. Oh! I just got Pinkerbell and she's about four and a half months. Do people give you trouble about dying if, your dog? Only if they don't know that I use beet juice, which is totally safe and vet approved. She said she can lick herself. She's totally fine. You know? People love Pinkerbell. They just think she's so sweet and cute and funny, and she's got her own personality. Oh. This is actually something I've been wanting to give you for a while, and it's kind of just a funny gift that you can add to your pink collection. Okay. Gift oh my god. Get... No. Wait, how did you get? I didn't. I had to wear. Okay, I had to wear. This is awesome! Shut up. I would put it on, but I have the highest I know, bun. You have the highest bun. That is. <laughs> Amazing. So I have an idea for us. I yes. Because you've got me such great gifts and I oh. want to take you somewhere and surprise you with something. If there's one thing that these two know how to do, it's find the perfect accessory. Come on in, let's talk okay. about what we're going to do. Come on, baby. 
We just got in this beautiful round oval yellow sunshiny Ooh. chain. It sounds Ooh. really retro. Yeah, you let me know how long you want it. Do you think that's a match, Miss Kitten, or what? Oh gosh, yes. Right let's, sit at, let's sit at our, let's sit at the bar. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. Oh, that's, so cool. oh, that's super fun. You want yours up. Like, oh Ooh. my gosh, I love this. I love it, thank you so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. Oh, this is so lovely. Great. I wear it all it's the time. Perfect. These monochromatics cause a stir wherever they go. My future, I hope, holds more yellow. You know, I do what I do because it makes people smile because it brings a dose of happiness to their day. I'm always going to be pink. It's going to be pink. The future's going to be as pink as possible. <laughs> I'll be in the grave in pink. I want to be unique. I don't want to be like everybody else. Why would I want to do that? All the colors and the clothes that I wear, it's what I want to do. It's not for other people. Imagine if a rainbow was a human being, that would be me. My personal style is basically a mashup of all the things that I love, mainly being rainbows as you can see i love rainbows so so much and so i wanted to kind of embody the ah uh, just the whole rainbow vibe clothes aren't really just material things to me they're also things that can kind of like change your mood growing up my style was Definitely not very colorful. Back when I was in Singapore, I was actually born and raised there. We didn't actually move to America until 2010, so about like 10-ish years ago. That was when I kind of found out that I had depression and it was really a really rough time in my life. And I wasn't really coping with it very well. I was always just in bed on Tumblr all the time. I would see all these pictures of people wearing Harajuku fashion and I would think, dang, I wish I could dress like that. And it kind of clicked in my head, like, why am I holding myself back? I have a son named Enzo. He's five years old right now. He is just everything to me. Okay. Whoa, 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 run, 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 keep running! I can't run, there's too many of them. Okay, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, the birth of my son pushed me to, you know, wear colorful, extravagant clothing because I thought to myself that I want to teach my future child to not let anything hold him back from doing anything that he wants in life and then I just started collecting more and more pieces and now like five years later, here I am. <laughs> so right here we have my magically colorful closet and as you can see there are a ton of colors over here. Literally about like 99.9% .9 of my closet has some kind of color to it. So as you can see, the difference between my side of the closet and my husband Edgar's side of the closet is very, very different. I've never really seen that uh, style. I didn't know what to think of it uh, at first. I don't. I, she did not tell me she was going to get rainbow. Uh, she just got in my car with rainbow hair and um, it kind of, I was shocked. Uh, Him and I, we match on an emotional and personal level even if he doesn't really dress up as much as I do. I still love him regardless, and yeah. So right now, I'm getting ready for a photo shoot that I have planned.
so this photo shoot kind of came together um, for this magazine called Girl in Real Life. It's a London-based magazine. And I love this magazine a lot because it basically um, is kind of just about empowering women and um, just, you know, women being their own true amazing selves. So basically the whole theme of the shoot is just rainbow. Are you wearing the glasses the whole time? Yes. You are? Okay. I just want to make sure because I have like a giant tank on. Oh shit. <laughs> when I first started dressing this way, I did notice a lot of stares and I noticed people laughing and people kind of pointing at me. I just, you know, got to thinking, why do I have to care what these people think? There we go. <laughs> this is me, like all the colors and the clothes that I wear, it's what I want to do. It's not for other people. I think that's a wrap. Oh, yeah. Thank you again. Oh no, it was thank so you. nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you, Jo. I can wait. You're amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you so much. I think it went really awesome. Like. Before the shoot, I was really excited, but also kind of nervous. She got to show me some of the shots from her camera, and they looked really amazing. I always forget that I'm dressed this way, um, because I get like stares when I'm outside, and I'm like, what are they looking at? And then I remember, oh, right, I'm wearing colorful clothing but yeah like to me this is kind of like my normal now because I wear these clothes like every single day if I could sum up my style in one sentence bags, bags, bags. it would probably be to not take life so seriously and to have fun <laughs> Did I do it? Oh yeah, you got it. My name is Jillian Vesey, also known as Pixie Locks Online. I'm 21 years old. My style is very bright and colorful. I love just rainbows and parties and anything fun and kitschy. My style has changed a lot over the years, but it's almost always been uh, Japanese street fashion. I do dress this way pretty much every day. Getting groceries, running errands, going to school. Yeah, this is me. This is my wardrobe. I love it. Of course, you gotta organize it in rainbow order. What's a really fun one? Oh, <laughs> pocket full of crayons. What else do you need? Absolutely nothing. This. Sort of, kind of, this one. Oh, little bit. One of the biggest inspirations for my style is anime, specifically magical girl anime. It's just these strong women with magical powers that save the world. And that inspires me so endlessly that I just kind of wanted to look like them. So welcome to my place. This is our main level. Um, I definitely like to keep my house just as bright and colorful as my overall aesthetic, just because I think it's very important to surround yourself with things that make you happy. So right when we walk in, we have some of my favorite things on this shelf. I originally moved here on my own in August because uh, I was coming here for my design school and when I found out I could paint, I just lost my mind um, and the whole place just became like a rainbow fantastico. Coffee table, pink, couch, pink, rug, pink, covering our bases. The Peeps candle to make sure we are always smelling fresh and sugary AF. some 
cosplays on display here. This one, actually, I recently made myself. And I kind of like having them there because it's like I can pretend that I'm going to put this on and like go to Sakura's school and then kill some cloak cards. Probably not kill them, <laughs> capture them. <laughs> the nerdy jokes to myself. Okay, let's tone that down. I started YouTube about five years ago. Hello, Confetti Club, it is Pixie. And it has become my main source of income. In this first look, I wanted to do pure and cute. My main goal has always really been just to spread fun and cuteness and art and just things that make me happy. If anyone's wondering if it's hard to like keep the rainbow hairs out of the pink part and the pink hairs out of the rainbow heart, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, 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 so much. I met Steve about a year ago. We met at a My Chemical Romance tribute show and he had blue hair and I thought that was pretty cool. I was with there with a friend and I was like, God, this, like, this girl's gorgeous. Like, head to toe, she was wearing just this crazy outfit and I was like, oh, I love it. I dress fairly like business casual most of the time. So when the two of us are together, it's like, <laughs> are they even a couple? So we're gonna go out today. We're gonna shoot some photos. Hopefully we're gonna get some really nice shots. The weather's looking pretty good. Uh, and maybe some things for Instagram. I sometimes feel nervous taking photos in public. It depends on how like bustlingly busy the area is. Romantic like, ah. Uh. <laughs> yes. I think it's really important to have good social media photos. It's so fun to take and just choose exactly how you want it. It's like a little baby art gallery. My hair cooperated. Yeah, there were a couple where your like hair did. Here, let me. That, like... I can favorite those ones. Why do people judge others for the way they dress? That is the million dollar question. I don't know. I can't even fully wrap my head around it. But I think the world would be a much better place if we did not judge others for how they choose to appear. <laughs>